At SmartPak, we have riders in every department of the company. We also have a few non-riders in the mix, and that makes things interesting. Don't they hate this when it's in their mouth? Mm, not really. So we decided with this new video series to see what happens when non-riders and horse products mix. These are very pretty. They're pretty. Oh, it's pretty. They're so cute. Kind of small. Definitely a hot Christmas item this year. Oh, little jeweled cat collars. Does it connect? No. Because 83% of horse owners have cats. Straps, like so you don't lose your stirrups or something like that. Why would they come in pairs if they're cat colors? Well, because they have two cats. They feel light enough they should go on the rider, but I guess they go on the horse because I've been wrong about everything so far. I'm taking that you're not liking that answer. I like it, it's just not right. Is this somehow related to like this part of their face? It's to tie something on the bridle with. These darling little blingy things go on the forelegs of a horse. Two and three year olds would love these and they would find endless uses for them. To dress it up a little bit for those special events. I've tied one of these before, like New Year's Eve. Definitely not going around a horse's mouth. These go on the rider. They go on the rider? On the rider? I have no idea what these are then. No, it's for humans, it's not a choker. No one's gonna wear this around their neck. That seems weird. But where would they wear it? Too small for a waist. Very small belt. Infant size Western bling belt. Too small for your waist. This is uh, not a bracelet. It's not a bracelet. These special little blingy things go on the wrists of the rider. They keep your heels raised. No, your heels down. To dress up their outfit. Obviously there's two, so I assume they go on an appendage. For special events like New Year's Eve. Do they hold up something? Sort of. That's helpful. Hold something onto your boots. The stirrups. Holds the stirrups on? Strapping you into the stirrup would be very dangerous. No, that would be bad. That would be dangerous. They have to do with your stirrups or the boots. Is it for your boots? Holds their boot. They could go around my boots or ankles. I'm actually stumped on this one. To make it possible for a trainer to see whether or not I'm putting my feet in the right position. They hold your boots to your pants. Oh, I like that. That's not what they're for. Not they're for. Is that a problem for you? <laughs> Holds the reins on their hands. Also pretty dangerous. But I'm getting closer, right? Chin strap. Is it a chin strap? It keeps your, your pants in your boots. The helmet has a chin strap. But this is not it? No, not syrup. Um, spurs. Sorry. Yes. Spurs strap. That's what I meant to say. Well done. This might be an item you're familiar with cowboys wearing. Because I'm familiar with so many cowboys. Oh, the little channel thingies at the end? I always thought they were just a fashion statement. I didn't think they had a real meaning for them. Spurs straps. They ah. hold spurs on. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So not necessarily up. This was sort of was kind of close. I mean, are these real amethysts in here? Amethysts are purple. Look at the little bedazzle. They're a little shiny. I think it's not over the top. I like it. I don't know if I personally would wear it. I love the bling. That might have the bling. Boy, I would feel very lucky if I had spurs that were attached with spur attachers this pretty. Spur straps. Spur straps. There we go. They don't make boots with spurs on them anymore. <laughs> that used to be a thing. Back in the cowboy ages. Built-in spurs? <laughs> That's how I would envision them. <laughs> no, <laughs> that is not accurate. <laughs> what do cowboys wear on their boots? Oh, the spikes. <laughs> Spurs. Spurs! These are spur straps. There's nothing spiky about them. Oh, this holds them in. I thought they were spiking them with those flowers. <laughs> That's pleasant. 